So I'd like to talk to you about uh, business <laughs> and believers in the business world. And um, as I said, I spent uh, 37 years in the corporate world and then I spent seven years as a consultant helping leaders guide their business to achieve excellence. I then had um, co colon cancer stage three in 2004, which um, the Lord uh, miraculously allowed me to go through and get healed from. And, um, and I retired, uh, went to Florida every year with uh, my sister, who is the only one left from a family of six. I'm the youngest of uh, six siblings, three girls and three boys. And, uh, and so uh, as I talk about business and uh, as I talk about Christians in business, I find that uh, um, most people uh, have a separation between the weekend and Sunday and their business world. And actually, it was interesting because in 2017, in February, there was the convocation happening in, uh, in Bratislava, and there was a two-day business meeting. Uh, before that, uh, Lance Walnau was, uh, was speaking, and I was asked to speak about uh, cooperating with God in business and how to do it. And I had an evening talk to, to do after Lance uh, spoke, and I was seeking the Holy Spirit to, to really guide me as to what message he wants me to bring. And I think everybody came expecting to hear a lot of wisdom about uh, business strategy and how to do it. And the Lord says, no, you're not going to talk about that. Because it turns out that you cannot cooperate with God in business until you learn how to cooperate with him in life. And I actually, I spent time talking about my journey with my daughter who had been on a drug journey for 12 years and how, how he used me to bring her back to him. And so um, I have been consulting in business and trying to figure out the relationship between being a Christian and being a businessman. And I discovered that while we Christians were sleeping, the secular world developed the Christian principles for business excellence because the Lord says, whatever you do, do as unto the Lord. And if we wake up and understand that if we're doing business, we have to do it unto the Lord, uh, we are expected to be excellent in how we do it. I was teaching some youth uh, once and they were from high school and university and it was a Friday night and it was a church and I was asking the Lord, what should I tell these people? And um, he inspired me to tell them about the Christian scorecard. Now, everybody in ministry would say, what do you mean scorecard? You know, the world's measurement system doesn't apply to spirituality. But then I reminded them, and God reminded me of John 15, which um, says, Jesus saying, I am the vine and you are the branches. And every branch in you that does not bear fruit uh, he takes away. There is some controversy about that means because another translation seems to indicate that every branch that is down on the mud that's covered and doesn't get the sun doesn't produce fruit. So the, the, the vine dresser, which is the father, takes it up, washes it, ties it to a trellis, and then it can bear fruit. So the first measurement is that we as branches in Christ don't bear any fruit. And then it, he goes on to say, any branch that bears fruit he, the father prunes, and pruning is, pain, is painful. Uh, and why is he pruning it? In order to bear more fruit. So the second grade of a student, uh, if you're in university, is you fail, then you pass. And then he says, it's my father's desire that you bear much fruit. And so now we have no fruit, fruit, more fruit, much proof, fruit. And then there's another verse that says, be perfect as your Father in heaven is perfect. So the ultimate is being perfect. And so the grading system for us as believers is we go from not bearing any fruit to bearing fruit to bearing more fruit to bearing much fruit. And that's a measurement system. And it turns out that the only difference, if we think of a ministry, between our ministry and, the, and a business is where we get our inspiration and where we get our strategy. But the minute we have the strategy and God tells us what to do, 
we need to know that we have to do it with excellence and that there are rules for excellence that the world has discovered that we have not been applying. And so I have a leadership system that acknowledges this and it seeks to achieve excellence in whatever we do. And, and so the whole point is if you are a believer who knows how to hear God and you get your strategy from God on what to do, there are principles of how you should do it in order to achieve the best outcomes for the Lord. So I teach that and I want to give this message to any person who is, who is in business that the primary, primary act of involving God with your business is to allow him to involve you in your life and that your business becomes a partnership with him and that you seek him for strategy and when you have your strategy, you strive to do the best you can. And there are some practical ways of doing that.